Hello and welcome back to the channel. Taking a look at the breaking news out of Japan with the Tamashi Nation's Amazing Spider-Man figure cancellation. Something almost completely unheard of and something I want to talk about today. So, this figure uh, is special because it's from the No Way Home line and it is the Andrew Garfield Amazing Spider-Man piece. Now, the reasoning behind it is that they could not go forth with commercialization. That's a very vague statement. We don't really understand what that means. We don't really know what that means. Uh, that could mean anything. Could mean there's an issue with Sony. Could mean that there's a territorial issue with the rights. Could mean that Andrew Garfield is simply not playing ball. We don't really know. Um, but there is something larger at play here, and that's the purpose of the video. So we're taking a look now at some of the some of the photos from the Amazing Spider-Man um, piece that that Tamashi put up in the summer last year. Um, you see the figure; it's a fairly nice figure. Um, I did a video of it in the Tamashi Nation's Tokyo store. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. But you can see the head sculpt. And to me, uh, this is a very nice head sculpt. It is far better than what we've been getting from uh, Figure Arts. So I, along with a lot of other collectors, were really looking forward to this particular piece. Um, and the news that came out last night is very, uh, very disappointing. So uh, what to make of it? So... There's something else going on. Uh, if you only collect 1 12th scale figures, you probably don't know. But in the world of 1 6th, um, Hot Toys is also handling a release of The Amazing Spider-Man from the movie. A lot of the toy companies handling this particular IP decided to name the figures differently and identify them differently. So if you look here, we have the Spider-Man integrated suit, which is the Holland. We have the Amazing Spider-Man, which is the Garfield. And we have the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, which is the Maguire. Here we have the Maguire. Uh, it's a nice, nice head sculpt. Uh, I like how the mask looks when it's unmasked. It's a nice piece. And this particular figure is going to be releasing very, very soon. There were no issues with this one which again makes us wonder what's going on with the Andrew Garfield. Now I know a lot of collectors who were in on this did so specifically because they were going to be getting head sculpts for all three figures and all three figures would be able to be displayed together um, in a seemingly um, reenactment of the movie. Now because we're only getting two of the pieces with unmasked heads and one now without, a lot of people are talking about canceling and I don't blame them. Here we have the Holland unmasked battle damaged head, final battle edition. It's very disappointing. It's a very disappointing uh, situation and to come so late. So again, looking back at the situation, Tamashi Nations, Bandai, this, this is not their first rodeo. They've been around. They've been around for decades. They have taken orders. They've shown the head sculpt. You don't do this without having some sort of licensing agreement in place. And for this to now happen, we have to wonder what's going on, which leads us now to the hot toys. Now, a lot of people in the chats and in the different Facebook groups and whatnot continue to say and speculate about this figure. Well, this figure has been solicited. This figure was solicited in Hong Kong. This figure is solicited in Japan. This figure is coming out. And we can see the figure. It looks like a great figure. Now, there's two versions. There's a single version, and then there's the version here with the base. I have the one with the base. It's a combination. For whatever reason, they were unable to sell them together. Another question about this figure. What's going on here? What is the licensing issue here? But you see what it comes with. 
why these very strange practices with this specific and particular figure. It's very odd. Now, as I said, the figure is coming out. So, what to make of it? What to make of the recent development with Tamashi Nations, with Bandai? Should we expect a similar situation with Hot Toys? Who knows? It's, it's a very puzzling situation. It's a very fluid situation. This transpired overnight, yesterday. But, keep in mind though, that if this figure does release in Hong Kong, and it does release in Japan, and it's scheduled for release this year, by the end of the year, 2023, if it does release, and we do get these head sculpts, the fact that Science Show did not take any orders, the fact that Science Show is not offering it to its main market, which is North America, and I guess to a degree, Europe. The fact that this is not being offered makes you wonder and, under, and, and think about what are the numbers going to be on this? How hard is this going to be to acquire? I really can't tell you. I have my order in. I'm waiting on it. I'm, I have my fingers crossed that nothing happens. But if this figure does release, consider this probably the most sought after Hot Toys figure of the last five or 10 years. Based on the numbers, based on the availability, based on the character. It's unbelievable. It's unheard of. And keep in mind that Hot Toys has never canceled a figure that they solicited for pre-orders. Never. In the movie Masterpiece series, never. Not once. Hot Toys isn't in the business of showing head sculpts that haven't been approved either. Same as Bandai. What's going on here? Bandai sells primarily to the Japanese market. Is this a North American issue affecting the Japanese market? Is it a Japanese market issue? Hot Toys, primary market. Hong Kong. I don't know about any longer, but Japan at one time was the number one market outside of China, outside of Hong Kong. I don't know if the United States has overtaken that. Is this an issue of one market affecting another market based on volume of sales? I don't know. But again, let me reiterate. If this figure is still slated to release this year and Sideshow has not taken any orders, any pre-orders, what will the numbers be? What will the availability be? And if you want this figure, are you going to be left out? It's been solicited. Official Hot Toy Distributors. Hot Toys itself. It's coming. Will we get the head sculpt? Will we not get the head sculpt? Will North America get this? Or will this be an Asian exclusive piece? I don't know. Again, time will tell. But thanks for checking out the video. Let me know your thoughts. Take care.